world's largest electronic publisher, which provides NBR with news, market data, and communication services worldwide. A new movie and entertainment studio was launched today in Hollywood, but this is no ordinary studio. It's headed by three of the biggest names in entertainment, giving the new venture instant credibility and a lot of clout. Reuters correspondent Kevin Smith reports. Take one part the creative genius behind Jurassic Park, the biggest movie of all time, one part the driving force behind this year's box office champ so far, The Lion King, and one part the billionaire entrepreneur who built successful record companies around acts like Nirvana. What have you got? Morning. Morning. Hi. A brand new studio founded by former Disney studio head Jeffrey Katzenberg, Oscar-winning director Steven Spielberg, and record mogul David Geffen. I look at the three of us and I figure this has got to be the dream team. Certainly it's my dream team. <laughs> dream team indeed. Just the three of them. Equal partners. Denying reports that Microsoft's Bill Gates or TCI's John Malone had a stake in their venture. The studio, as yet unnamed, will be in five businesses. Movies, television, animation, records, and interactive new media. And it creates serious competition, potentially, that could have an effect on market share, could have an effect on profitability of each of the other companies. Katzenberg and Geffen say all of their business activities will be channeled into the new company, due to begin operation next year. Spielberg, who won the Oscar for last year's Schindler's List, will be able to direct for other studios, including Universal, which has long supported his projects. I'd love to build a company that will continue to make movies well beyond me someday. Katzenberg also commented publicly and emotionally about his rift with Disney chairman Michael Eisner, which led to Katzenberg's departure from Disney last month. Probably the first phone call I got this morning, I know my partners did also, was from Michael Eisner, who couldn't have been more gracious. I truly would not be here at this table today in any fashion, shape, or form were it not for him. I don't think either of us are thrilled to death with how much we hurt coming out of it, but that's behind us too. One thing's for sure, today's announcement was a 10 on the Richter scale, guaranteed to shake up the entertainment industry more than any earthquake ever has. Kevin Smith of Reuters for NBR Hollywood. CBS fumbled in the third.